Hello and welcome back to another video from UNM.NU. That's the University of New Money. Today I just wanted to dig into the 1% portfolio strategy I like to give to people. Now again, this is not investment advice. I'm not an investment advisor. This is just my opinion, but I am pretty bullish on Bitcoin long term. And this is a strategy which I think works for the more risk averse people. Is I'll be honest, because I have more than 1% of my portfolio in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies. As I believe in Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, at least the larger cap ones, for the long term. But, if you're somebody who doesn't know much about Bitcoin, but you might be a little bit interested in investing, this 1% strategy might work for them. So the whole key is this. Let's say you talk to a person who has a million dollars in their portfolio. If they allocate just 1% of that portfolio, that would be $10,000 they put into Bitcoin. At the current price of Bitcoin, which this is May 28, 2020, that is $9,500 roughly. So they would be able to buy just a little bit more than one Bitcoin. Now, if the future price of Bitcoin happened to go to zero, the worst that would happen is they would have lost $10,000 of their million dollar portfolio. While that is still $10,000 they lost, that shouldn't be life changing to them. That's just 1% one one of their portfolio. Hopefully their other investments have done, done okay or at least haven't gone to zeros. So they still have their other investments to lean back on. However, if they end up being as bullish as I am and the price of Bitcoin does increase in the future, if it increases to $100,000 per Bitcoin, their 1% allocation of $10,000 would be worth $105,000 $263.16. Now as part of a million dollar portfolio, adding another $100,000 to that portfolio is not ins insignificant or immaterial, as that would be an addition to their portfolio, which probably would be noticed and appreciated by this investor. If the price of Bitcoin ends up going to $1 million, which some people think it may within the next five to 10 years, then their $10,000 investment from their $1 million portfolio would be worth over $1 million. So their portfolio would have doubled off of just a $10,000 investment, which would have been 1% of their portfolio. So all this should be very appealing to an investor, especially one who is more risk averse than I am. As again, the worst case scenario, you always want to hope for the best, but expect the worst is in the worst case scenario, this person has lost $10,000 of their $1 million portfolio investment. And in the best case scenario, well, I mean, the price of Bitcoin could go to infinity, but you could see an addition of $100,000 to $1 million to, to this portfolio based on future BTC price projections. So this is a portfolio strategy I think works very well with people, especially people who are just getting into the industry. For people who research more into Bitcoin and really like it, I think they should increase their percentage of their portfolio to greater than 1%. And if you talk to somebody who just can't stand Bitcoin, of course they should not invest in Bitcoin. You should only invest what you can afford to lose. So I hope this gives you some insight into why the 1% rule works so well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell to be notified of future videos which will be coming out from this channel. I hope this 1% portfolio explanation works well with people you talk to. It has for me. Uh, again, it's a way for people to just have a little skin in the game, especially people who are interested in Bitcoin but maybe don't know enough about it or just don't want to take on the risk that I do or other people who are more bullish on Bitcoin than new investors would be. It's, and again, this gets their feet wet into the market and perhaps when they do more research and get more bullish on Bitcoin, they could increase their percentage from 1% to 2% to 5% to whatever level they're comfortable with. Again, I hope you find this video helpful. I'll be talking to you in the future. Take care.